putting it off. So this is what I started with. This is the story of Ari, who is a weather girl, right, at a local news station, and she has a lot of shit going on. Like her fiance just ended their engagement. She has a clinical depression and is on medication for that, and is in therapy and stuff. And is working for that, and then Russell also works at the station and is a sports dude. They start having a connection and I love Russell. He is so soft and I absolutely love him. So I am hoping to finish this today. My TBR for Rom-Com Fun was six books and then my friend Bree from Four Paws in a Book, we were talking about contemporary -athon. If you're an oldie then you know where we used to try to go for seven in seven. So I'm actually trying to read seven books in seven days from Rom Com Fun. I have my TBR of six that I'm prioritizing and then if I get to the seventh day and have time, I will throw in another book. But happy Rom Com Fun. We have the sprints at noon Eastern. I'm gonna be late, but I will be there at some point. So I will let you know when I'm done this one, hopefully tonight. It's Monday night. I have finished my first book for Rom Comathon, and that is Weather Girl. I am going to give this four stars. So, this is my second Rachel and Solomon adult romance. She only has two, so that makes sense. Okay. So, I don't know how else to describe this other than there's always like something missing like there was something missing with the x talk which i still really like and there was just something missing with this as well it feels like it feels like heart it feels like i don't know like it's so hard to describe but like i just feel like something is missing in the writing of rachel and solomon's adult romances i don't I don't know how to describe this to you. Please let me know if you have read them and you understand what I'm talking about. But like, I'm gonna give it four stars. I'm gonna keep it. It's a signed edition. Honestly, I think I would reread this. It just like wasn't, not that like all my five stars that I read are perfect, but it just didn't like make me feel warm and fuzzy, I guess, which is like what I really wanted. So four stars for this. This was for the prompt of host's favorite color and I chose Aoife's favorite color which is yellow. Big yellow umbrella on the cover so I'm still trying to do seven and seven. Let's see what I'm gonna choose next. Hold on. Okay I'm starting Fake It Till You Bake It by Jamie Wesley. Listen I'm so excited for this one. I barely know what it's about but I am in love <laughs> with this cover. Okay okay so I'm starting this now. I definitely won't finish it tonight. I literally got five hours of sleep last night before I had to get up and go on a plane. So like, I'm gonna listen to, what time is it? It's only, dear dear Lord, it's only 7.30. Could I go to bed at eight? Yes. Will I? No. So I'm gonna listen to about an hour and a half of this, but I listen at three times speed. So we'll see how it goes. I will check in when I know more about this. So it turns out I have to go to bed, so. I'll talk about this tomorrow. Hi, good morning. It's it's Tuesday. I am far enough into this now that I can tell you what it's about. This is the story of hold on Jada, who is about to turn 26 and has like no direction in her life. She doesn't know what she wants to do, but her family is like super important in science and sports, but she doesn't want to work for any part of her family. She's been to Europe, she was on a reality TV show, she's just like kind of doing her own thing. Then Donovan is a professional football player, but he also owns Sugar Blitz, which is a very popular cupcake store in San Diego. And Jada went in and kind of criticized his cupcakes and him, and it was very. And now Jada needs a job, and her grandmother helps Donovan at, with the cupcake shop and has asked Donovan if Jada can work there. However, the grandmother doesn't know that they already know each other and now Jada is going to work for Donovan at this cupcake shop and it's enemies to lovers or like hate to love, I assume. I did not know that going in. I just, 
I just went with it because of the cover. However, I'm down. I'm down, I'm down. So I'll let you know more about this when I know. I'm not very far in at all, but like the plot is plotting now. So I am super excited for this. I have less than three hours left of the audiobook unscribed to finish it today. I have sprints today on Lexi's channel and then sprints tonight on my channel. So I'm hoping definitely to finish this today and then pick up something else. So let's do this. I'll let you know. But so far, immaculate. Please. We have enemies to lovers and fake dating. Oh my god. Okay, so the reason that Jada and Donovan are fake dating is because Jada was on a reality show, right? And she dumped She dumped the guy, like he proposed, and she said, no, there's someone else that she can't stop thinking about, but that was a lie. So she's fake dating Donovan to like be dating someone apparently. And Donovan is fake dating Jada. So he like gets more publicity for his cupcake shop, right? So it's like a mutual thing. Well now, John, the dude that she said no to on national television is back in the picture. And I'm like, oh God, so. I'm here for it. I'm really liking this. Hello. So I finished this and I'm going to give it four stars. And the reason is because this is the same reason basically as Weather Girl that I didn't talk about, but I guess no, I will. There was an absolutely unnecessary third act breakup in both of those books, which is why I feel like I have given them both four stars. I just like, it is so unnecessary like it happened it happened for both of them in like the last 50 pages and it's just like stupid so i am gonna give this four stars i'm gonna keep it though like i feel like this is something i would reread absolutely like i love this i love jada i love donovan i loved all the drama i love the happily ever after so four stars for this give me one second i'll tell you what book i'm reading next Hello, I'm starting My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. This is the group read. I am hoping to finish this today. I know I just finished a book today, but if I could finish two books today, that would be ideal. I don't know much about this. The only Tessa Bailey that I have read and liked was It Happened One Summer, so I don't know much about this. Let's see. Lord. Okay, I'm listening to this audiobook and the audiobook narrator for Miles definitely starts with an m he is supposed to be 35 or something he sounds like a 70 year old smoker what why are they doing this to me personally okay so taylor is on vacation with her brother and they're at their rental house and she notices two peepholes in the ceiling and is like obviously freaked out about that right but then she looks and she finds this murdered man in her uh rental so obviously not good. So then this bounty hunter comes into the picture and they immediately have the sexual tension. And that is basically the premise of the book. And that is where I am now. I, uh, that's, that is it. I'm on page 80. So hoping to finish this tonight. I don't know. I'm so tired. So Miles is like overprotective of Taylor and I hate it. Like they barely know each other. He doesn't even like her that much. He just wants to have sex with her and he's so overprotective like following her around and stuff and I just absolutely hate, I don't, am I not liking this? Oh. I have a half an hour left of this audiobook but it's oh, after 11 and I'm so tired so I'm just gonna finish it <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> It's Wednesday. I finished My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. I'm gonna give it three stars. There were some things I absolutely did not like, but then there were a couple chapters that really like shined through for me. Chapter 18 in particular, I really, really loved and actually thought I was going to bump it up to a higher rating, but overall I'm just feeling very meh about this. I don't know whether or not to keep this. Normally I don't keep anything under four stars but i'm meeting tessa bailey next month and i'm wondering if i should keep it and get it signed let me know what you think i should do help me so hold on I am buddy reading The Flip Side by James Bailey with Nat from Nerdy Nat Reads. I am still trying to finish this today. 
this is really this is big but look at that print it is very large this is like 18 i'm not even kidding this is ginormous print i have the audiobook for this on scribd so hoping to finish it today when i know what this is about i will let you know so I am on page 107 or chapter 11 of the flip side and basically Josh proposes to his girlfriend of four years at the very beginning of this book and she says no because she has been cheating on him with someone else and also they live together and work together so now he has lost his girlfriend his job and his house all in one day so he's going back and living with his parents and trying to date again and i don't think i like this <laughs> it's just fine like i'm gonna finish it it's not gonna be a dnf this is just not my favorite thing i have ever read and that's fine i i don't know i i don't know it's just like it's fine i'm back because i forgot to tell you the main plot of this book is that josh uses a coin to make like every decision for a whole year and now we're in spring so like anytime he needs to make a decision he flips a coin and heads his yes and tails his no and that is just how he's like operating his life now ever since everything got fucked up basically that is like very important and i definitely forgot so that's it josh has met this woman didn't find out her name, doesn't know where she lives, doesn't really know anything about her, but like had a very big connection with her and then lost her in the crowd. So now he's literally traveling all over Europe to try to find her. And I actually like this. Like, this is what I like. I don't care about the coin flip. I don't, I don't, I still did not like Josh, but I like that he is trying to find what the book is calling Sunflower Girl. So it's like on social media that he's trying to find her. And I think like, this is really cute. So I'm liking this plot point. I would say it has brought my star rating up a star, but like, I, I don't know. I'm liking it more than my last clip, if that's helpful. So I finished the flip side. I gotta say, I did not like it. <laughs> And unfortunately, I'm going to give it two stars. I'm absolutely, definitely not keeping this. I just thought Josh was awful. I just did not like him as a main character. I could not feel any kind of emotion except annoyed by him. <laughs> but I did finish a book today. So that's something. I'm not trying to boast, but it's only day three of rom com and I have finished four books. So. I'm going to start The Wedding Crusher by Mia Sosa. I'm on sprints and Aoife told me to pick up this one. So I am. I don't know much about this except that I think it's fake, fake, fake dating, which I absolutely love fake dating. Like I'm a hoe for fake dating. So I'm going to read this. And I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight. I don't know how long the audiobook is at three times speed, but I will definitely absolutely finish it tomorrow. So hoping to get through a good portion of this today, though. So Nat just messaged me and let me know that she DNF the flip side, <laughs> which honestly good for her. I am so glad she did it because honestly, I read this book what, three hours ago and I remember nothing about it other than it was not good. So good on her for DNFing and saving her sanity and I just don't recommend. Also there's no smut which like doesn't need to happen in a rom-com but like I personally would like to happen ha would like it to happen in a rom-com so this book was just overall a big disappointment so. It was not not a good buddy read. So I am 89 pages into The Wedding Crasher and the wedding crashing happened in the very first chapter. So basically, Dean and Ella are getting married. They have only known each other for six months and Solange is helping at the wedding with makeup and overhears Ella say something about how she's actually in love with her friend Tyler who's in the wedding. And she's like, oh, shh. 
shit like should i tell someone so then when they start the wedding ceremony and the priest asks like does anyone not want these two to get married she steps up and says they shouldn't get married and i was like that is some balls because i could never but solange is awesome i really really like her she's one of the best main characters i have read in like a really long time and i am warming up to dean it's definitely not grumpy sunshine it's hard to explain it's like uptight not uptight I don't know it's like uptight and chaos and dean is very uptight he's a lawyer and solange is more of a free spirit and she like works with gardens and helps people and it's just like opposites attract basically and i am really liking it it's a really fast pace so the premise is now that they are fake dating so dean can get a partnership at the law firm and they're like really really trying to sell it so they're really trying to get to know each other we all know what this means and i am I, i'm ready for it i'm ready for it and also i just love how pink this cover is it's just beautiful so i don't know how uh, much longer i'm going to read tonight because i am tired but i am just really liking this and i will check in when i am farther in hi so for the two i think there's two self-care prompts so i am doing the treat yourself i have had this face mask from whole foods on my bathroom vanity for months and i have not done it so i'm gonna do it now and i also bought two books i bought tampa and i bought i think it's called the girl next door so those are coming so I'm still listening to The Wedding Crasher. I'm really liking it. So I'm going to do this and let it stay on for 15 minutes. I'm going to treat myself to that. And I'll show you my face in this face mask for the vlog. It's Thursday. I finished The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa. I'm going to give it five stars. This is by far the best book I've read for Rom Com -a -thon so far. I absolutely love this. The diversity in this book is so good. Solange is Brazilian and speaks Portuguese and like she has a big family and they all hang out and like cook food and make food, what? Cook food and they just like really love each other and I just, I love this. So this was fake dating turned into real dating and I just, I love this. I might be in love with Mia Sosa so that's good. I feel like after this book, she's going to be an auto by author for me. Also, I just really like that this took place in DC and Maryland because some of the places they were talking about I had been. So I always think that's really cool and that's just like a me thing. But I'm going to take the rest of the afternoon off and then I have uh, sprints tonight on Lexi's channel and I am going to start my last book on my TBR which is the romance recipe and that is for queer representation and then if I finish that before Monday which I think I will I will find more books to read for rom com -athon. so uh yes this was my fifth book for rom com and it is day four so very proud of myself okay so I am 67 pages into the romance recipe I'm loving it already shut up but this follows amy who is the restaurant owner and she it the restaurant is struggling and she is trying to like jazz it up and figure out like what can make it better and then sophie is the head chef and she is also trying to make the restaurant better but they have different ideas of how to make the restaurant better but amy is a lesbian and Sophie has just come out as bisexual and they don't like no I mean like a Sophie knows that Amy is a lesbian but Amy doesn't know that Sophie is bi so there is they like both like each other basically their whole narration has been like wow look at her she is so pretty <laughs> I'm just like shut up and kiss but basically I'm really liking this so far they've had like vegan poutine which sounded really good, so of course I went and got snacks that was not poutine, but it was fine, so. Anyways, it's making me hungry, but I'm really liking this. They literally did it 80 pages in. 
Is this my favorite book ever? I don't know. I am 67% into the romance recipe and I'm really liking it. I will say, so I'm listening to the audiobook and reading along and I feel like the audiobook narrator's voices are almost exactly the same. So I really have to pay attention with who is like which character is who, which, and I know what I'm trying to say. It's really late. Uh, but other than that, I love the story. The smut is really good. I like the restaurant setting. The restaurant setting is really good. I really like this. So I'm definitely going to finish it tomorrow. And then that's the end of my TBR. So I'm gonna just pick up something else for a rom com fun. Hello. I finished the romance recipe. I forgot how to speak, uh, but it is Friday. Right? I think it's Friday. I finished the romance recipe. I'm gonna give it four stars. I really like this. I felt like there were some drama that was a little unnecessary and it made me roll my eyes. <laughs> but other than that, the spice in this, top tier. Very good. Four stars. I'm gonna keep this one. Um, officially, I have finished rom com -thon. I have hit all of the prompts. So, and I've read six books in five days, <laughs> but I am going to continue reading rom-coms until the end. So give me one second and I'm going to tell you what I'm reading next. Okay, so I was talking to Brie from Four Paws in a Book earlier about reading a book with green on the cover, which is my favorite color, and then that would be seven books. And we were talking about Birds of California by Katie Catugno, but for some reason I'm not really feeling it, and I'm feeling- I might still read it. Listen, I could probably fit one more book in, but I'm going to read Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory. Listen, I know that this is technically a Christmas book and it's August. Just go with it. I'm just gonna read it anyway. I um, have only read two Justin, Justin, Jasmine, is that what I said earlier? I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. Two Jasmine Guillory's. Uh, one was While We Were Dating and the other one was The Proposal. And I did not like The Proposal just because of some side plot that was happening, but I really did like While We Were Dating. So I'm excited to give this one a shot and I just got the audiobook for it as well. So this is what I'm doing next. Oh, sorry if I said Justin. I don't understand. Hi, it's Saturday. I am 37% into Royal Holiday. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't really read yesterday. I felt like I needed a TikTok break. So I took a TikTok break. I also watched Twilight. We had the watch party for the Twilight Readathon, which was really fun. We were all just quoting the movie in the comments. So like, I needed that. I needed a day off. I do plan on finishing this today. I have a busy day today. I'm doing the Project Hail Mary uh, live show, which I will put down below if you want to watch it. And then I have reading sprints after that. And then I have reading sprints after that with Rye. So like, I plan on getting a lot of reading done today. Here's my plan. I think this is not going to be my last book. I'm going to finish this today. And then hold on. I have Yes and I Love You by Ronnie Lauren. Lauren? I'm sorry. This is something I want to read for my five star predictions. This is the only romance I have on it. So why not kill two birds with one stone and read this for a rom com -a -thon and my five star predictions video? So my plan is to finish this today. Start this. This is really big. The audiobook is like 12 hours. It is, that is quite long for a romance. So uh, start this probably tonight on Rise Sprints. Take the day easy tomorrow. I don't know if I'll get a lot of readings done. I have to edit a couple videos at night. I might just hang out with Rowan and Theo and Caswin. You know, an easy, chill day. And then finish this for the last day of rom com -thon on Monday and then I'll have that video out and it'll be good. So that's what I'm thinking and that will be eight books for rom com -thon. So let's go. I'll let you know. Oh, let me tell you what this is about. Okay, I believe that this is book four in the series. I am completely out of order, which is fine. So Maddie is 
I believe one of the main characters of another book but this is about her mom and they go on a uh, royal holiday obviously to London and they're like staying with the fucking queen is that realistic no also I don't think the writing is great this is super short it's teeny tiny the audiobook is seven hours I'm listening at three times speed so it's very fast but it's like an insta love but like later in life romance which I really like I think it's super cute uh but the writing is not my favorite but I think the story overall is really good so I'm I mean I'm liking it it's an easy read so we'll see how this goes gonna finish it today I will check back in later <sighs> I finished Royal Holiday and I can say without a doubt that I did not like this like at all and like I I don't know what to say I'm gonna give it two stars mostly because I finished it which is just a feat but I just didn't care about this and like I don't I don't know like I feel like I feel like I would have liked a story of someone in their 50s or 60s finding love, but them just like meeting the queen and stuff was so stupid that like, it just, no. Like in theory, I think this could have been a good book, but the whole other like plot about being with the queen, dumb. Also, I have not read a lot of just J Jasmine Guillory but this just the writing was just off like it felt so stilted it did not like the writing was not good this was not good writing unfortunately this is signed and personalized to me and I'm still gonna try to sell it but like oh my god I I do not recommend this one my favorite of the ones that I have read so far is while we were dating I thought that was really good and really spicy I don't really have anything good to say about this one, so. Okay, so in theory, this will be my last book for rom com -upon because I feel like I'm gonna take the day off a little bit tomorrow during the day and just hang out with the kids and stuff. And then I will finish it on Monday. So I'm on sprints on Lexi's channel and then immediately going on sprints on Rai's channel. So I'm going to be on sprints for literally hours. I feel like I can get a good chunk of this done. Take off Sunday. Like do the live show for my killer vacation and everything. And then pick this up on Monday during my sprints. And then I'll be done rom com -thon and I'll have finished eight books. So I'm really excited for this. Hoping this is five stars, obviously, because the other books that I read for my five star predictions have been five stars. So let's see. Okay, so I'm 91 pages into Yes and I Love You, and there is so much happening, but not in a bad way, just in a way that, like, it's hard for me to describe all of the things that are happening in a short clip. So here we go. Holland is a movie entertainment critic but she goes under a pen name and she works in like this office building to get out of the house because she has severe anxiety because she has Tourette's and she can't control her tics and her tics are mostly in her face. So she is really anxious about people seeing her tics and like calling her out and thinking people thinking that she's being rude because she can't control her face basically. And then we're also getting Jasper's story. He is the barista at this office building that Holland is working out of. And they had like a really awkward encounter, but like they both think each other is hot, right? So there's been some flirty texting and some flirty talking and flirty stuff. But Jasper is an improv actor and he made fun of Holland in his improv and she was there to critique the improv for her blog and it was so awkward. And then so now it, the plot is really starting to happen like she's forgiven him are they gonna be friends is something else happening i really like holland and i really like jasper and i just am interested to see where this is going to go i personally have not read any book where the main character has tourette's so i think that 
that's really interesting and i really like jasper's story he was a foster kid so like that's what i'm saying a there's just so much going on with this book but it's not in a bad way it's just like a lot to keep track of but i'm liking it so far listen there was a taylor swift and one direction reference in this book and like like back to like not about the same thing but like really close to one another so like first of all why didn't anyone tell me this second of all i'm pumped and i'm really liking this and i finally figured out what the title means so that's good not a harry potter reference in a book that came out in 2021 i am so disappointed Okay, sorry if you can hear Peppa Pig, but I don't remember the last time I updated for this book, but now it's a friends to benefits thing. The smut in this, smutty, like four out of five chili peppers, but I just know miscommunication is coming. Like I can feel it. Like Jasper does not want to get in a relationship because he knows that he can't handle it and Holland already has feelings. So like, I just know there's going to be a miscommunication. So I'm like preparing for that but i'm still liking it it's super funny oh my god wait there's the love triangle now okay 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 i finished yes and i love you i'm gonna have give it five stars i cried okay i didn't cry but i teared up which is basically me crying this was amazing i absolutely love this i'm gonna look into the sequel like immediately and buy that right now but five stars and this was a five star prediction so Look at me go. That was eight books for rom com -athon. I am super impressed with myself. I'm gonna do a wrap up and then wrap up this video. Hi, this is my wrap up for rom com -athon. I read eight books, so I'm going to try to go through them as fast as humanly possible because you just saw me reading them. So the first book I read was Weather Girl by Rachel and Solomon. This was four stars. I think I would have really liked Russell's point of view as well, and that would have made it five stars. The next one was Fake It Till You Bake It by Jamie Wesley. This was also a four star and that was because of miscommunication at the end of the book, which, but otherwise this was adorable and I really, really, I still want a cupcake. The next one was the group book and that is My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. Ended up giving this three stars. This was just okay. And honestly, you could persuade me to give it two stars because of how much I hated Miles. So I will post the uh, live show down below. The next one was my least favorite and that is The Flip Side by James Bailey. I will never again read a rom-com by a male human. So that's just how I feel about that. The next one was probably still my favorite of this whole thing and that is The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa. This was like god tier rom-com. I don't, I can't even tell you this was amazing. I highly recommend this one for everyone. The next one was The Romance Recipe by Ruby Barrett. I absolutely love this one. I will tell you that I did not really care for this plot, but the smut was just so good. Four stars. The next one was my second least favorite and that is Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory got nothing really good to say about this one it's part of a series and you can just completely skip this one I wish I would have and then my second favorite of this readathon was yes and I love you by Ronnie Lauren I have already bought the second one of this series this one made me tear up I had a great time listening to this one the smut the smut so I set out a goal to read seven and seven and somehow managed to read eight and seven. I am very proud of myself and very tired. <laughs> I hope everyone who participated in rom com -thon had such a good time. We will definitely be doing this again and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.